let us be hopefully the first ones to wish you guys a merry, a very merry Christmas. A merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas to all and to all, good night. Halloween is a distant memory. I don't want to see another costume on my timeline. No. At this point, November 1st, I don't care. Couldn't care less. And I'm even using my little... Hey, Santa. My little Christmas mug. So I you, it. I know. My little hot tea moment. I feel like everyone is on the November 1st Christmas train this year. It's I, like... Yes. I think every year keeps getting, like, worse, TBH. And it's like, people <clears throat> want Christmas earlier and earlier. You Do you know the vibes, though? It's like, we're all, like... It's like somebody to look forward to. Like, yes. And social media hypes you up oh, before sure. it even happens. Like, I follow Christmas accounts. Like, she's on January 1st posting, like, 364 days to Christmas. Yep. <laughs> like, like. And I literally <laughs> retweet. Like, I mean, repost, whatever. Literally every single time. Like, I am such, like, I'm such a Christmas lover mm. that it, like, literally the second that it turns August... I'm excited. Like oh, yeah. people, like I feel like the November first crowd is slowly starting it start like hello slowly turning into September first is spooky season. Yes, yes. You know what I mean? Because like I just feel like you know like the Christmas season and even the Halloween like like fall just I feel like it just goes. It's gone. So I feel like people just want to you know cherish it more. Oh, yeah. I want to, like, marinate in my decor a little bit longer. Yeah. I want the Christmas cheer. I want the lights. Like, we've talked about it in previous episodes, but this year my roommate and I are doing, like, the vintage-y kind of Christmas feel. Mm. And it's going to be so great. And we're going to decorate on Sunday, actually. Oh, my gosh. That's so fun. Are you going to, like, watch movies and do cookies and all that? Probably, yeah. Like, I'm just... I need to go to the craft store because, you know, in my, you know, the little archway from my living room to my kitchen. So I did a spooky one this year for Halloween. And now I want to make it into like a vintagey kind of Christmassy. It's going to be so pretty. I don't really have, I mean, I've been looking things up on Pinterest for inspiration and I maybe have a couple ideas, but normally I just kind of just grab what speaks to me and just run with it when i think of like childhood christmas i or like old time i guess is like maroons dark greens mm. golds like ribbons throughout yes am i am i on the right track red bows will be incorporated yes in it somehow some way mm-hmm. absolutely gotta make a quick trip to the dollar tree i um also i put my tree well i don't I need to go get my tree, actually, now that I'm thinking about this. It's at my dad's house in his basement. Oh, my gosh. And it's a six-footer, so, like, I'm going to need help. I love that for you. Oh, yes, honey. I got it at Target last year, and it was, like, 80 bucks or something. It was an insane steal. So, and it's pre-lit. However, the corner that I put my tree in, the socket there does not work. Oh, good. The little outlet. So, of course, I have to run the extension cord all the way along the other side of my wall. So, my entire wall is lit up, basically, like, on the floor from the lights going all the way. Because I can't use the actual lights that come on the tree. I have to, like, plug in my own because I need the cord. I don't know. It's it's too much for me. It's too much math, honestly. It's too much math. So, I just, like light up my pre-lit tree which is so insane um but yeah i keep it up until january 1st at least like probably early like january is when i take it down oh yeah easily first week like i'm i'm in no rush no not at all i'm like the start of the new year january 1st like i'm still in the christmas spirit i agree sorry not sorry but do you know what i have been seeing a lot on tiktok lately i've been seeing a lot of people saying that trunk or treat has ruined mm-hmm. Halloween. Now, what is trunk or treat? Like, is it what it sounds like? It's, car trunks? It started off as, like, churches doing trunk or treats. Okay. Because, like, in the parking lot? Uh, because, it, like, basically in the church parking lot. Yeah. Like, it, it, was a, it was an opportunity for churches to, like, bring the community together to try and, like, you know, fellowship and yeah. to try and spread the gospel and all that good stuff. So, it, and because, you know, traditionally Christians don't really celebrate Halloween, to an extent, obviously, but so they would go to the church parking lot mm-hmm. where there wouldn't be any like demons, witches, blah, 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 like, whatever. Yeah. And just they like would like roaming demons. Pretty much. So they would like open, <laughs> so they would open their trunks and they uh-huh. would decorate the inside of their trunks with like, oh, you know, okay. pumpkins and 
fall leaves and blah, 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 whatever. So then kids would go around and they would go to people's trunks. Yeah. And they would, like, take candy as, like, a trunk or treat. But it's been such, like, trunk or treats have now expanded into just, like, everywhere. Like, it's not just at churches. Mm. So because of that, a lot of people have been, like, posting TikToks of being, like, I dressed up and sat outside, like, sat out in front of my house, and and they were like, there's kids in my neighborhood. But I sat out in front of my house starting at, like, 5.30, and they're like, nobody came. Like, not one person. Like, we don't even have trick-or-treaters in my neighborhood. Like, I I remember the first year my roommate and I moved in here, we were sitting out front, and we got this whole big, big bowl of candy, and we sat out front with, like, little cat ears, just, like, waiting for kids, and they never came. I feel like when I was a kid, I don't ever remember driving somewhere to trick or treat. Like, I just would walk out the front door and, like, yep. start just, like, house to house. But I feel like trunk or treating, I mean, some these kids obviously have no choice. Like, their parents right. are... Right, their parents like, are going to take them wherever. But I feel like that's not as fun because you're just, like, hitting the trunks, like, one after another. Like, you don't have to walk up to the doorstep and do the whole song and dance. And the people are dressed in costumes. Well, I'm sure they're probably dressed in costumes, giving out the candy. But, like... It's so it goes by in like fifteen minutes. I know, completely agree. That's sad. I know. Aww. I just like it. I know because like I saw a bunch of TikToks of people like, especially like with like new parents with their kids. They're like walking around and they're like, we saw, we were the only kids out. Like, we were the only people out trick-or-treating. I feel like it's going to have to be a TikTok trend, like, next year. People being like, I'm taking my kid out through the neighborhood. So, like, are y'all with me or not? Like, are we coming? Yes. Are we back on the streets or not? Honestly. Like, I mean, honestly, and it also depends on, like, the area that you live in and the neighborhood that you live in. Well, yeah, yeah, true. So, because, I mean, I saw a couple comments of being like, we had hundreds and hundreds of kids. So, I guess it really just all depends on the area. But I feel like it's more planned now, probably, too, in the age of, like, group messages and, like, texting. Oh, for like, sure. Like, mom's probably like plan for all 10 of their kids to like go to one neighborhood because they know it's going to be good or whatever for sure ruined (laughs) (laughs) ruined anyways ruined everything literally on to the next no but i just um got on tiktok and i saw kaylee may do you know her no she does asmr stuff she was like i think the og girly who would have like her sweatshirt over her hand with like a bunch of rings and like long square nails and like make her an espresso and stuff like that That, those videos send me into a pit of rage oh it's not those videos it's the people with the ariana grande hand oh yeah like i'm like why are you why are you loading your dishwasher with your sweatshirt hanging over like basically your and 10 rings and 10 rings on like the, that that's what bothers me the ariana grande hand with the meaning for those of you who are like what the heck is an ariana grande hand it's like when somebody has a sweatshirt on uh, sophia demonstrate yes Ugh! it's like why why <laughs> why like don't get me wrong i love a good oversized moment mm-hmm. i'm an oversized queen like i love oversized sweatshirts oversized t-shirts like this t-shirt that i'm wearing is a 3x right now like big fan right but i just like i don't understand it just like I. It became a thing. Like one did. girl did, and especially I feel like in the ASMR style community, like Kaylee May, highly recommend her. I think she has like freaking fifteen million followers or something. Good for her, insane. Yeah, and her house is like perfectly clean and like super vibey, and just like she drives like a big Range Rover, and like everything is like she has like a big cloud couch in her living room, like a oh, white wow. couch. Oh yeah. Um, but she does a lot of cleaning, a lot of restocking, a lot of coffee. I think I may know who you're talking about. She, um, went to, like, Target today and, like, got all of her stuff to decorate. And I was like, I love this. I really feel like social media is encouraging everyone to decorate earlier. For sure. And I'm on, like, I'm totally on board. 100%. Um, I feel like it also kind of did that with people going back to blonde. Have you noticed that? Yes. Or, like, getting blonde in their hair again? I... I haven't seen the opposite, low key. Oh, By the really? way, your hair looks amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah, guys, if you're watching on YouTube, I got my hair done today and I added a lot more blonde into it. It looks very like lived in, natural, like very blended, like the like the root to kind of like yeah! moment. Like it looks so pretty. Mm, looks very you. she's a natural blonde. Thank I wouldn't you. Have, I wouldn't have known. I wouldn't have known. It's growing out of my head like this hundred percent. Literally. She um, was born this way. Salon South, if any of y'all are in, like, the Georgia area, she's in Suwannee. 
Lauren, my girl. Cute. But yeah, I just, I definitely went through a phase where I saw a bunch of people going dark, like yes. old money blonde, like back to your roots type blonde. Mm-hmm. Um, but recently everyone has been going back to like their, not bleach blonde, but like bright blonde, I guess I should say. Right. I feel and like, I like okay, was, perfect. I feel like I'm perfect, perfect timing. <laughs> Love it. I just feel like, I feel like it was just because it was a trend to go dark. Uh-huh. Like everybody and their mother was going dark, including mm-hmm. me. Like the when I went to dark, when I like look back at previous videos, she was dark. Oh dark. yeah, it was like chocolate brown. Like it was very dark. And so, I did recently go and get like little balayage pieces added in because I'm I was bored and I needed something different. Some yeah, sometimes you just want to go to a hair appointment that's not just a trim. Yes, that's not just a gloss, and then they send me on my merry way. Granted, exactly. what I was paying for for the gloss, I was like, could get on my knees and praise the Lord. I was like, thank God, this price is so great. But then after I got the balayage, when she told me that total, I went, <laughs> I went, <laughs> okay, all right, love that. Let me just go into credit card debt. Everything's, so pricey. Everything's fine. So pricey, but honestly, it's 100% worth it because... I feel like I was actually like when I was doing my hair, I washed my hair this morning and when I was doing my hair, I was like, I finally feel like I'm back in a place where I love my hair. Mm. Like I haven't really truly loved it in a long time. Right. Like I feel like the length is definitely back. Like she's growing out beautifully. It's it's in a healthy place. Like I love the color. Now that she put a little bit more, like, bleach on it, I can actually style it now without it just falling completely flat. So, mm-hmm. definitely Big in fan. a good definitely in a good place over here. I was talking to Lauren, my hairstylist, today about, like, I feel like I see people are going back bright blonde now, and it just, like, solidified in my mind. Like, I was thinking about it. I wasn't going to do it, though. And then I saw all these girls saying it was a trend now. So, I was like, okay, perfect. Um, Done. Just validated. Right. But Lauren brought up a good point. She said that she thinks the trend to go dark was kind of started by the fact that we're in, like, a little bit of a recession. Like, people were, like, cutting back on their finances, especially, like, over the past six to eight months. I feel like it's been, like, especially hard. And so, what – it it wasn't really a trend. I guess people were trying to save money, but it became kind of a trend. It, like, made it okay for, like, all the blondes to go kind of, like, dark blonde or, like, give you a reason to try it out. But you're totally saving money on the back end because... Oh, 100%. I did, like, trim in a gloss for a year. And when I went in today, like, knowing that I was about to get highlights, <laughs> like, you literally get... Like, I know I'm going to come out looking different. And that's yes, the best part. For sure. That's how I felt because I've been getting a gloss... And yeah. that's pretty much it. Like You I've want a transformation. Getting, yes. And that was really the whole reason why I went back to my natural color. Because I was like, I am spending a ungodly amount of money. And I'm going every four to six weeks. I'm like, I cannot afford to drop hundreds of dollars on my hair once a month. Like, as yeah. much as I love a good blonde refresh, like, I genuinely can't afford it. I was like, it's there. I mean, I just... My hair... My hairstylist, Bridget, she deserves to charge what she charges because she works at a salon so i'm not sure if it's her that charges like her price or if it's the salon i don't really remember but um regardless like she deserves to charge what she charges because she's right. fantastic but uh, like my wallet does not ble- that does not think so so that's like <laughs> part of the reason why i went back to my natural color because i was like girl like i will literally follow her even if she goes out of state i told her i was like i'm going wherever you go um but as far as money wise i was like i have got to go back to my natural color for a while just to kind of like get my money back up but then when i was like i want to get some sort of dimension in my hair i went back and you know i got the color that i did on purpose and i got like the balayage up to here on purpose because now i'm going like i'm not going to go again until the new year so it's like it because it's going to grow out and it's going to still be blended beautifully. Mm-hmm. And then when I go back, all I have to do is just get a toner. Yeah. It's nice so. not to have roots, like to have a color that, mm-hmm. like you said, grows out well is kind of smart. Like, I don't think I would ever go bleach blonde again, like root to tip. I would right. always do like a shadow root or something. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the growth just like. It ruins it. Yeah, like you, It does. Like you love it for a good like two weeks and then your roots start to show again and you're like. Ugh, I hate it here. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, I, oh, I was going to talk about this thing on my face. Okay, so if you're watching on YouTube again, I have oh, this, I like, see it. do you see this, like, red patch? Yeah, no yeah. okay. So, I got microneedling done, not, uh, yesterday, actually. And it's basically, I would say it's, like, similar to, to, similar to like, a tattoo gun type of vibe. Like, it's a vibrating needle, and they just, mm. like, run it all over your face essentially is like wounding the skin so that it reheals itself and to right. heal it produces a bunch of collagen so it's like really good no medicine required no like injectables it's literally just like a natural what your body responds to the needles so your skin is sensitive and it looks like i have a sunburn like if you're wondering the downtime of microneedling like i would say two days because you're a little bit burnt you're a little bit red right. and you're not supposed to put a lot of stuff on your skin but i came home oh, i didn't immediately do this but like when i was getting ready for bed i just slapped on my regular moisturizer that has like active ingredients and stuff in it like it's right. it's a all-encompassing moisturizer and it's not hyaluronic acid and it burned my skin like i Oof. put it on immediately and i was like Ooh, like a little hot. Okay. And then within five minutes, my face was bright red again and it had really gone down. And then I guess like just under my eye was more sensitive. And so it almost like burned the skin a little bit Jeez. and it just feels dry. It's like a dry red patch. Ooh, I know, dude. Yikes. I know. I hate that. So I was texting our esthetician like right before we started recording. I was like, uh, what do I do? Because she right. didn't do it to me. The other esthetician did it to me, but this girl's like been in the in the in the industry longer mm. and she said aloe so i'll probably try to find some aloe just oh that's like good it. oh that's gonna feel so good oh i know mm. oh wow Seriously. especially if it's like the aloe is like refrigerated or something that's oh yeah if you're not refrigerating your aloe like what are you doing like leaving it out on the counter overnight right crazy couldn't be me crazy <laughs> so yeah um recovering everyone wish me well guess what i did time the other day I went, do? I went golfing. Oh, I saw your little TikTok. Yeah, I went golfing. Your with swing the is like pretty insane. Honestly, like you kind of like whacked the freak out of that. Ball. I did, and I was honestly incredibly shook because I haven't played in like forever. Like I went with my dad once when I was a kid, and I was bored silly, and I was like, I will never do this again. I was like, I hated it. And then after that, I would just go to the driving range, but. Um, for my boyfriend's birthday, one of my accounts, um, the, I'm, you know, I'm buddy, buddy with the head of food and beverage at one of my country club accounts. And I texted him and I said, Hey, like huge favor to ask. I'm like, it's my boyfriend's birthday. I'm trying to do something nice for him. You trying to hook me up with a tea time. And he's like, yeah, dude, I got you. So he hooked us up with a tea time and we went and I was like, and I was like, you know what? Like, I kind of want to, I was like, can I hit it? And he was like, yeah, of course. So I walked up and just went whack and just like sent it, sent it. And I just, and I was like, and I looked over and I looked over at him and he was like, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> um, okay. And then of course, like that hit was probably one of my best in the video, in the video. Yeah, it was, it was, it was so pretty, good. it was solid, but now he wants to buy me my own set of clubs and oh, I'm like, you're in it now. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> i'm like what can of worms in, did i open you're in it now we went like my first time actually golfing like like nine holes like i've only ever been to the driving range like you said like top right. golf or something right but when i was back in dc a couple weeks ago my mom started golfing with my stepdad and she's obsessed with it because she's like she's good at it so she loves it right and they convinced me to go with them and my mom i was like mom i've never gone on a golf course like i don't even know how it works like what is either. what are the rules like i literally i'm like i didn't either i know i'm like uh, you can't have me out there and she's like it's fine like it's fine and immediately we got out there and my stepdad's like like hurry up like the, there's people behind us like you have to like be quick like you can't dilly dally and like no. hee hee ha ha like it's and so after th whole three i was like please don't don't speak to me anymore like <laughs> don't like y'all are overstimulating me i don't want to be here like Oh, oh my gosh. The family was tested that day. Let me tell you. Because I was like, why bring me out here and then make it not fun? Right. Ugh. It was stressful. No, because yes. like, because we pulled up and, you know, we did hole number one. I'd let Alex do it. And I was like, you do it. Like, I'm just yeah. going to drive. I was like, I'm just going to drive the cart. And apparently you like can't drive it on certain parts of the course. Mm -hmm. And he was telling me and he was just like, and like I was driving the cart 
And I was like, and I would drive up and then I would stop babe, and I'd be like, babe, where am I going? And he like wouldn't answer me. And I'm like, and so I would stop and he'd be like, what are you doing? I'm like, I don't know where to go. You're not telling me where to go. And he's like, keep driving. I'm like, okay. And then he would be like, okay, now, now like drive onto the green. So I'm like, okay, so I'm driving onto the course. And then he's just like, no, 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 like go back. I'm like, and I'm, I'm literally driving. I'm like, literally, what are you talking about? And then I was like, I want to try and hit a ball. And he goes, okay. So then he hits the ball first and then I go and hit the ball. And then, you know, we go to the ball and the next, you know, he's like, just grab it. We got to go. I'm like, what? I was like, what are you talking about? And he was just like. He was like, there's a group of four guys behind us. I'm like, what? I'm like, I literally just hit the ball. Like, what are you talking about? So then eventually he just goes, pull over, just pull over. I'm like, okay. So I pull over and then he let the guys go in front of us because they were like, they were super good. Like, we are, me, amateur. Alex, uh, yeah. a better amateur. You know what I mean? <laughs> so we're both like, and he would agree. Like, listen, if he, yeah. I don't ever think he listens to us, but it's just like, he would totally agree that he's not good, but he's also like, well, he's not, not great. He's not exactly like he's not great, but he's like he's decent. So we were um, so he was like, pull over. We're going to let the guys go in front of us. So I'm like, OK, so we pull over. The guys go in front of us and they all said like, hey, thanks. We're in a hurry. We're like, just go like whatever. So then, you know, so as soon as they were in front of us, I was like, OK, cool. Now we can actually like, kind of take our time. Next, you know, I turn around and there's four old women behind us. And I'm like. So we are rushing it through is these not holes. Chill. It's it is not. not chill. And then eventually, eventually, I think like the old ladies that like, got the message and they kind of like sat back a little bit and took then took their time more. So then you know him and I could like actually have fun. He could like kind of show me how to hit certain with certain clubs and everything. And like I was starting to get the hang of it. But we were supposed to do a full eighteen. We made I made it to thirteen, and I said I'm done. I, I was like, I'm how, s- how long did that take? Three hours. Oh, no. 13 no. holes, three say, hours. Yeah, we did nine holes and it was like a solid hour and like 15 or hour 20. Yeah. I was, I like, was eh. like, I I was just, I was hot. I was sweaty. I, like literally my thighs were sticking to the seat. Mm-hmm. I was like, when I, when we left, when we had left the house that morning, it was like 60 degrees. So I had a cute little tennis skirt and a long sleeve like long sleeve you know like the bbl jackets i had long Mm. sleeve like bbl jacket and i was like okay and thank god i wore a tank top underneath because i mean apparently the sun freaking came out and it like went up five thousand degrees i'm like okay perfect so it's 40 degrees in the morning and 85 at night love that so you know we're out on the course i'm sweating my tail off i feel like i'm being rushed i don't know where i'm going Mm -hmm. and then and on top of that day two of my period Mm. the worst day so i'm like I'm quite literally miserable, but I'm putting on a happy face because it's his birthday and he's having a good time. But right. then eventually we make it to hole 13 and then he goes, do you want to call it? And I was like, I I was like, if you want to keep going, like I'll suck it up. Like I'm not, you know, I was like, I'll just drive the cart and I'll let you play. Like, I'm not worried about it. He's like, no, like, honestly, he's just like, honestly, like I'm down to call it. And I'm like, thank God. Like, <laughs> I'm trying. I was like, I'm, I want to go take a nap. Yeah. I want to go nap. I, when I was with my stepdad, I don't know, we, we were on vacation somewhere and he's like, gotta, gotta get a golf lesson in. Like, you know, it's just like men. And he, his tea time was like 5 a.m. or like 6 a.m. I'm like, mm, what is that about? He's like, daytime heating. And I was like, oh, okay. But at the time it was like, whatever. But being out there for like an hour and a half and it was 70 something degrees, but like, all the walking and all that, I was already sweating. So I can't oh, yeah. imagine in the middle of June, like, yeah, you probably do have to get out there at 6 a.m. And yeah. drag drag yourself around. Yes. No. And not having a golf cart, can you imagine walking? <laughs> oh, no. Like, a golf cart all the way. Don't like, care. N- 100% no. Don't also, care even. It yeah, was go ahead. it was stressful with the timing, like, how quick it had to be. My stepdad was doing the mm-hmm. same thing, like, waving people on. I was like, relax. And right. funny enough, my mom was like, That's really interesting because the last time we were here and it was just me and him, there were some ladies in front of us who were being so slow and he was like, oh, like, we'll just give him time, like, sit back and relax. But for us, he was like, like, gotta go, let's let's get Hurry up, hurry up. I I was like, And then also, like, which club to use, like, it's so specific. Like, you can't, you can't use the driver every single time, which I guess makes sense. But, like, whether it's an eight or it's a nine or, like, you put the T here or you don't use a T, it's just... Oh, I know. And, and Alex used, um, oh my God, what are they called? Um, I can't remember what they're called, but apparently they're like not clubs for beginners. Uh huh. I think they're like called wedges or something. Oh, okay. And he was, and so his clubs are wedges. 
I'm just going to call them wedges. And apparently they're not, his words, they're not very forgiving. Mm. So they're for like more advanced besides the drivers. Obviously a driver's a driver. You can just smack it and hope for the best. You know what I mean? So like I was getting frustrated because he was like trying to explain like, this is how you need to hold it. This is how you need to follow through. Like you don't use a T here, but then eventually like I got the hang of it. I was like, I used a driver. If it's, if it's anything more, if it's anything less than a par three, then you use, then you use a driver. So if it's like a par four, par five, you use a driver. Which means, yeah. like, because, you know, it's it's a longer distance. So then, but then if it's anything less than that, then you just use, like, I just used a seven. Mm. And then eventually, like, once I got closer to the green, then I would do a G or a P. Totally. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> That's fine. I know what a putter is. I found out that I'm very good at, at, at putting. Oh, okay. Short distance queen. Yes. I found out that I can putt. I could do, a, I, could, I murder a putt putt. Oh, okay. Big fan. I love putt putt. I, um, I feel like, like putting is honestly my least favorite part because if I'm that close and I miss it, like I'm going to be pissed off. hundred <laughs> percent. Like if it just, you know, like goes right around, like right. I'm going to be livid. My, it's my favorite is when it like goes to the hole and it goes whoop and goes <laughs> right out. <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, great. Love, love that. It. Mm-hmm. But eventually, Alex, me and Alex are just like, we're not good at all. Like, just wholeheartedly. <laughs> so we would so we would hit the ball, and, like, his would go all the way to the left. Mine would go all the way to the right. So then we would drive up, grab the balls, and then we would go to where they would want, we wanted them to hit. And we, oh, would, just, and we would just throw them, and he'd be like, well, babe, great shot. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm like, babe, that's so crazy. Like, we're right next to each other. That's wild. Like, how did that happen? That's so funny. It was so fun. Yeah, I was having a good time with my mom, like, kikiing around and laughing. And my stepdad was like, ladies, like, come on. And I was like, let me relax. Laugh. Right? Like, <laughs> relax. It's not that deep, sir. I know. I was like, this is why I didn't want to go out of here to begin with. Mm-hmm. But there's, um, okay, so, like. I don't know why I thought of this like random story time because it had to do with golf. Love that. So there's a guy who lives across from me and we have like parking spots like outside of the place I live. Like you park in front of your door, like near it, you know, like it's not that serious. Right. They're not like assigned. Mm. And he drives a foreigner and every day, apparently, I don't know. I only witnessed this one time. It seems like the people and next to him and like the next door over and whatever they park in front of his door mm. so even though the spots are literally like lined up right in front of all the doors down the sidewalk he is livid when he doesn't get the spot that's immediately right in front of his door Love and that. so one day he like peeled into the parking like i was standing out there he peels in like turns around comes up past his place and then like reverses like back down and like park somewhere else and he gets out of his car grabs his golf clubs and he like goes inside slams the door like throws his clubs down it's like ah! like he screams i was like mm, what the, like what right. so he, com- he comes back out he looks at the other two cars that are like parked in front of his place and he gives them the middle finger and he's like you and showed them i know <laughs> and then he he goes Ma- back to his car macho man and- <laughs> i know he goes back to his car for like something and then you know rushes back inside and then at some point one of the cars moved and so he was the first one out of his house you know he'd been watching he was oh you know sitting in that living room he couldn't wait for someone to move their car and so he gets in his car reverses er, peels out like gets back in zooms into the spot and like come (laughs) like you know big man like walking up to his car i'm like that was so embarrassing like that was so embarrassing Literally. like you're flicking off an inanimate object like an empty car empty driver nowhere to be found he's like do you know what that gives <laughs> do you know what that gives <laughs> what? it reminds me of like <laughs> when you would have an argument with your mom and you would like storm off and go to your room and you would slam the door and you'd be like <gasps> behind, <laughs> yeah. the, behind the door <laughs> Ah! Literally, it's like that's what oh, he. Oh, oh my! Oh, it just like oh. it was a different type of release. Like it really. That's so. And then she yelled at you for slamming the door. Oh, an immediate regret. When I slammed the door, I immediately was always like, mm. 
oh, that was a little too much. Like, I'm going to get in trouble for that. Mine would be the stomping. I was a stomper. Mm. I stomped up the steps. Pissed. I was a big stomper and slam. And did your mom hate the stomping? Was she like, don't do that? No, she ignored oh. me. Oh. She fully, which made me even more mad that she didn't react. She <laughs> full on ignored me. Absolutely. I'm stomping up to my room. I slam the door and I'm like pacing back and forth, like <sighs> waiting for her to like come up. Yeah. Like, waiting for her to come up and be like, no, ma'am. And I'd be like, I'm like, you know, with the full adrenaline, like ready to pounce. No, no, she didn't wow. come up at all. She would just, she just let me throw my tantrum. That was always the worst part was like, I always wanted my mom to like come upstairs. Like that was all. And I think she would sometimes, but that's how I know I was just like being too extra. Like I just wanted to fight. Like I was just terrible preteen. I feel like I will never forget one time. I have a story. Ooh, I can't remember. I was I wore this lip gloss. It was like I'm pretty sure it was like a Hello Kitty like blue lip gloss. Mm. I can't remember where I got it, where I found it, but like you put it on your lips and it was blue, right? Yeah. It was almost like a bluish purple, kind of like holographic, kind of like funky, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I remember I put it on and I was just like walking around the house and my mom was like, take that off. Like, take that. I was way too young to be wearing any makeup. She goes, take that off your mouth. Like, she was like, what is that? That looks weird. Like, take it off. And so I was like, I don't want to take it off. Mm. I was like, I think it's cute. Like, I want to wear it. My mom's like, take it off. She was like, you look ridiculous. Like, take it off. And I was like, and you know, so we went back and forth and- I had watched this scene like in a TV show and, and, and so like, I like walked into my bathroom. I was like, Oh, stomped into my bathroom, grabbed a paper towel and like wiped it off my lips, like threw it away. And I stomped out and I looked at my mom. I go, are you happy? <gasps> Cause I had watched a scene on TV of the little girl being like, you happy now, mom? Oh my god. Or something like that. I can't remember what TV show it was, but I just remember in like with all the sass in my soul, I looked at my mom and go, You happy? Ooh, what was it? With reaction? the head bob and everything. My mom just slowly turns it and goes, Go to your room. Mm. And of course, I didn't I was not allowed to have a TV in my bedroom. Me either. So I did not have a TV. I did not have the luxury of having cable in my in my my bedroom. I went upstairs. And I slammed the door of my bedroom and I just like sat there. This, of, of course, this was before cell phones. This was, this was the era of like, you called your friend's house phone and asked to speak. Yep. Like, can I, is so-and-so home? Can I speak to them? Kind of vibe. Like, and I will also never forget one time I, my mom had bought me the lips phone. It was yeah. the, Br the Bratz phone. It was the purple lips oh, phone. Dude, if you still have and, that today, I would buy it from you. Oh, I know. Like, I probably donated it knowing me. Or either that or it's in my childhood closet buried somewhere. But I, <laughs> I remember my mom called. I, like, begged my mom for my own phone number to, like, add a line to my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I begged my mom because there was an outlet for a phone in my bedroom yeah and i was like mom like i want one so bad you know again before cell phones and so my mom agreed to let me have my own line and so i my mom was like yeah the verizon guy's coming or whatever and i was so happy i like went to school and i was telling all my friends like yeah i'm gonna get my own cell phone number like i'm gonna get my own line like i'm gonna write my phone number down and give it to you like blah, 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 whatever i like got home and i immediately was like mom did like the verizon people come like did i get my own phone line and my mom mom is like and now that and now that literally now that i'm saying this out loud i think i know why she said no and she was like i ended up like sending the guy home like i said i said no and so i just like i was completely of course i'm like nine ten years old i'm completely distraught beside I'm, yourself i'm sobbing i like run upstairs and like slam my door i'm sobbing like the world is ending and you know the the economy was not that great back in the day so in my mind, I'm thinking she probably couldn't afford it, oh, you know, like you adding, know. like paying the extra money to add a line to your phone plan. Now that I'm like, literally now that I'm thinking about it, 
that's probably an extra expense that she didn't want to that not that she couldn't afford it but there was that's probably an extra expense yeah you're right that she didn't want to add on to the phone bill and here i am sobbing like it's the end of the world like mom you're the worst literally like she just beat uh, you up <laughs> yes i was so heartbroken though i wanted that i wanted that phone line so bad it would have been so cool and like I did that with me getting braces. Like, I told everyone I was getting braces. Like, Mm -hmm. when y'all see me tomorrow, like, if you don't recognize me, don't worry. Like, it's going to be me. They're going to be pink. Like, (laughs) And then my mom, like, the appointment wasn't that week. It was actually, like, a week later than that. And then it was, like, a month later. And I just think I had to shut up at some point. Very sad. But I could not... I couldn't bear going back in there anymore and like telling everyone that I was going to have this amazing thing, which right? braces, I, I don't know what this I was thinking. amazing transformation. Like, <laughs> I, know. I don't like, know. Are you, are you new here? So, Sophia, <laughs> like, did you get like rubber bands on your braces? I never got the bands and I wanted them so bad because <gasps> everybody else had them. Yes. I wanted them so bad mm-hmm. because everyone else had them. Uh huh nope i thought i always thought the girls who had like the i don't know why it i think this is the name like power bands almost or like it was like the whole thing was covered like even the wire was covered in the color it wasn't just like the little loops like it's a it's a totally different look like as a middle school i was like she's cool because she has like I don't know what it is. What is that called? It was I... almost like the strip versus yes. just like the little individual. Uh huh. Like each like wire little rubber ba- and yes. bracket was covered. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Yes. I just I was always like, wow, like those are so cool. Um, never forget when I got black rubber bands for I don't know what reason. My teeth looked like actual corn cobs. Girl, worst worst decision ever. I don't know what I was thinking, and I had to rock those for like six weeks or Oof. something. Yeah, my mom. Every time my mom would ask me, like, "Oh, Brittany, like, what color are you getting?" And then I would tell her, and I can't. I think I can't remember what color it was. I think I said like orange or something for like Halloween, like orange and black. And my mom was like, "No," <laughs> like alternating orange and black. Yeah, for Halloween. And my mom was like, so my mom funny. immediately was like, no. And I was like, no. why? She goes, it's going to make your teeth look yellow. Mm-hmm. She's like, you need to get blues, whites, pinks. Yeah. Reds. <laughs> like, that's it. No. So I was notorious for getting, I would get them on rotation. I'd get like a light blue. I'd get a white. I'd get a light pink or I'd get a dark mm-hmm. pink. Like, or like even like a lime green. I got a lime green once. Yeah, just dark colors are a no, I yeah, fear. Yeah, for sure. I think I probably did the same, like, like a teal and, like, a light blue. Yes. And, uh-huh. yeah, something about teal. That was totally – it was, like, 2014, I'm sure. God, everyone had teal. Everyone had teal. Everything. and they And they had the Peter Pan collars with yes. the jewels and the peplum tops and chevron. See, I never wore a peplum top. Oh, my mom would never buy me a peplum top. Why? She goes, your torso's too long. It would look weird on you. I'm like, okay, cool. Granted, <laughs> she's not wrong. That's such a mother thing to say. Oh, yeah, but they're going to tell it like it is. Oh, for like sure. Yeah. Like she was immediately like, yeah, no. She was just like, Brittany, you're, you have a long torso. She was just like, they're meant for girls. Like the peplum, it like sits at their hips. Mm-hmm. She's like, the pep, but like where the peplum would hit it. She was like, it would hit at your belly button. She's like, you have a long torso. Right. And I'd be like, but mom, like literally everyone's wearing peplum tops. Like I want, I want the black and white chevron peplum top and I want to wear my teal jeans with them. I want to wear my black jeans with a coral statement necklace. Like (laughs) everyone's doing it. And she would be oh like God. wholeheartedly no, but and t- with to compromise, she bought me a chev. She would buy me chevron blouses mm, instead. So very like you know everybody went through the phase of very business casual. Yes, and yeah, it was basically business casual because the yes. collared shirts like come on, like who like, are what we? What were we doing in middle school? But they were Literally. like always like pearls on them or like sparkles uh, or little jewels in the combat boots oh my gosh the combat boots i felt my mom i was like at my childhood bedroom recently and my mom whips out a pair of black combat boots <laughs> and i was immediately like oh like i had like a visceral reaction i went oh god and she goes pretty do you want these these are cute i'm like no ma'am no i don't mm. 
I'm like, I have my Doc Martens, and that's about as combat as I as I get. Like, yeah, no, thank you. I'm all the way good. Promise. I always love. like wanted to shop at Delia's during that time in my life, and my mom would never like. We just like Delia's didn't shop was there. my store. I've never, sh- I never. Went there. <gasps> oh my god! My Delia's one was friend my Avery had like everything from Delia's, and I oh, just yeah. like would love to go to her closet and just like look through everything. My but when I think I of were, combat yeah. boots, I think of Delia's. Delia's, yeah. Like Delia's was big into like Cher Lloyd. Yes. I want you like back. that British, like back. British yeah. preppy. Oh, yes, like mm-hmm. with the British flag and mustaches. I don't know what it was. Everywhere about the flag and mustaches. Couldn't yeah. tell you. I will say, I have never done the mustache finger before. I never did that. I never did that. But <gasps> nice. I know, but I just like. I love it that we did it back then. Like, oh, I know. N- it would never be acceptable now. Oh, no. So, like, just thinking about, like, the humor, like, the things that we found funny. Uh-huh. Like, llamas. Back... Like, we just had, like, a llama phase. Yes. Like, and, like, and things named Bob. Do you remember yes, that? Yes. Yes. Like, I thought that naming something Bob was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> like, I will never forget when my, my cousin, my dad's cousin's, they were they were having their second baby and i will never forget they were like oh you know my cousin trey he was like oh pretty like what should we name like what should we name our baby and i went bob <laughs> and they were like <laughs> was it I like just... the give me my money trend where everyone's just like are you like <laughs> right just give me my money no but i was just like yeah i said like bob because <laughs> yeah, yeah. And they were like, I don't know about that. I'm like, okay. I'm like, <laughs> there are so many cringy things that I did as like a preteen around like family and like cousins. Things that I thought were funny, like moments that I thought I was being like smart alecky, like mm-hmm. cute. And it was just straight up embarrassing. And like, I will think about that at midnight. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, yes. That's going to keep me up at night. Oh, yeah. Wholeheartedly. Like, just the, I just, I, oh. oh my God, I can't. That's the nostalgia that I don't. No. I'll tell you guys one just to, like, hmm. So you, oh, so you just, just like, had the reaction. Me. So now I need to know. <laughs> you had the, ooh, like the physical cringe. It's so bad. And I just don't even want to admit it. I, my sister sent me a video the other day. Oh, no. And this, I'm not even going to say the year because this was way too recent. Oh, <laughs> no. Sophia. <laughs> want to tell it no you have to tell me <laughs> okay now. May- it maybe it didn't sound that loud out bad or that bad out loud um so i was in the car with like my mom and my sister and my cousin who is british like he lives in england like british accent like the whole oh, nine no. born and raised <laughs> oh no uh, anyway keep going i'm sorry i'm and already so- i'm already like i'm already like ready to like okay so my sister and i were in the back seat and we were, like, playing a joke on my mom and, like, something. And she was, like, Eva had her phone, but she didn't tell my mom that she had picked up her phone at, like, the last place we were at. So my mom was, like, where is my phone? He was, like, yeah, like, wouldn't it be nice? And, like, she has it. So eventually Eva reveals that she has the phone and, like, my British cousin is sitting in the front seat. And we're, like, Eva and I are laughing and cackling. And I, was, <laughs> I just, I can't even say what I said. But I just said something in a British accent. And I watched the video and I was just, like, why did I do that? Like, he's literally British. Like, that's probably the most cringe thing in the entire world. I think I was, like, she's, like, mental, but, like, me- oh, like. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And he's, like, s- just sitting there in the front seat, like, on his phone, probably thinking, like, these girls are so annoying. Like, they're they're so cringy. Like- they're so cringy. And I was, like, full on, like, British accent, like, Essex, like, vibes, like. These Americans and their big serving oh, sizes. It was so bad. Like, watching, I didn't even let myself finish the sentence, like, or finish the three words that I said before I swiped out of the video. I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that to myself. I cannot watch past what I just said. I (sighs) have, funny enough, weirdly enough, I have a very similar story, Mm -hmm. except this happened within the past, like, three years. So, Mm -hmm. very, but I was at, I was at work, and I was serving a table, and <laughs> they they were like they said hello. I said hello. 
Because I thought they were gay. I thought it was a bit like. I thought we were doing like that. <laughs> Mental illness, isn't it? You yeah, know what I no, mean? Like, yep. Yeah, like the very. Like, I thought we were all kidding around, and then they like kept going, and I was like, oh, sick. Like, like do I keep going? Do I keep going with this bit? Like, I'm, I'm like, born and raised from England. God, so dude. It's, just, it's, like, it's the things that you just wish you could eat back up. Like, I just wish I could take back the words. Literally. That's so oh, funny. So cringe. And, like, having it on video, too. Like, seeing my cousin just, like, sitting there on his phone. I was like, oh, my God. Like, he totally was just thinking can only imagine what he's thinking can we like please get out of this car like they're not funny like oh, no. oh, y'all are straight up not funny right now that <laughs> stop playing please yeah oh my gosh but you know oh, what i hate that character building it's all character building like you have to have some bad moments you gotta feel embarrassed sometimes do you know who also should feel embarrassed sometimes oh i would love to hear i saw this uh, this is another tiktok rabbit hole that i've been down Mm. Have you heard of the Jenkins family? Oh my gosh, the R word, or it's like a R before their name. Like the recessive Jenkins or something? Like the. Is it I like have the no idea. one fam- one bedroom apartment with like. Yes! Kids? Yes. With the, the seventh one on the way? Yes insane they're, yeah okay they're called something if you look up their channel it's like the adjective jenkins i don't know what it is but interesting yeah oh are you how do you feel about them i hate it i hate every second of it i yeah. j- like they are at this point it just feels like rage bait to be honest with right. you it feels like rage bait and at the same time it's like you know she's like oh yeah we're the most hated family on the internet right now it's like yeah because you're 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 stuffing six kids about to be seven in a singular bedroom apartment. Right. If y'all don't know, there is a TikTok family that is, like, I guess up and coming. Like, they just kind of are popping off out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. And they live in a one-bedroom apartment. The parents sleep in the bed and the kids sleep in the living room on, like, foam mats and stuff all over the floor. There's five or six kids? Six kids. Six kids. She's pregnant with one and she consistently consistently makes content being like, if y'all watch this video, we could have enough money to, like be able to have another baby and i can give my husband his seventh kid and like it's all i really want and this and the other they're getting cats like they're getting pets oh yeah i watched I didn't a see spill that. sesh have you have you ever seen a spill sh- spill sesh video on you i have yeah i love her she did one on them like okay so i it must have popped up like recently because it's recent um but there's some kittens now that they have oh for god's sakes like i can only imagine the smell oh just like the smell of just like that many people in a small space like that the body heat the body heat and the breath like that that's where that i'm like a big thing about breath like i'm always terrified that my breath smells mm-hmm. so it's like i can just all imagine like how much hot breath is in that apartment yeah but people are just like upset because why are you asking for money and help and all this stuff and it doesn't seem like you really I guess want to better your situation because like right. they're they continuously are buying things that are like not not necessary. Yeah, like, and like they don't like that the kids are sleeping on the floor. Like they feel like the kids should be in the bed and the parents right. should be on the floor. It's just it's just it's just wild and like they have a p like uh, people are just going crazy about the fact that like the the husband has a PS five that yes. which is not cheap R- regardless if you get a used refurbished whatever the case. It's still not cheap to have. Right. And there's like, yeah, you know, like, oh, daddy wants to spend time with his kids. So we're going to have some like family video game time. It's like on the PS5, at least get a three bedroom apartment. Seriously? You know what I mean? Or like a two bedroom. Like, right. What? Like, Something. Why are we doing in one? I don't know. But that's the thing is like when you put your life out there on the Internet like that, like you have to let people assume like you have to let people do all this like behind the scenes stuff like you can't have a ps5 out and have your kids sleeping on the floor like Facts, people are gonna can't. be upset about that like you can't buy kittens and say that like oh my gosh our apartment's so small can you please help us with a donation and then like go add more people to it more animals and right. she wants to have another baby like you're opening that rage bait i feel like at this point that's what she's profiting the most off of is making oh, for people sure mad. absolutely it has to be but yeah, that's one thing that I wanted to bring up because my jaw is still like on the floor. 
<laughs> Seriously. It's just so, it's so rank. Like, I just can't imagine how, like, no amount of cleaning, no amount of vacuuming, sweeping can get the smell. That, that's, that's where my mind immediately goes to. I'm like, I can only imagine how freaking badly it smells in there. Your kids just shouldn't have to live like that. No, they shouldn't. Not at all. I know. I don't know if the mom has a job, but I think the dad has a job and he works like really long hours and like for long stretches. So who knows? Maybe this TikTok new bound TikTok rage bait fame will get them out of that. Also, your kids are going to see this like when they're older, they're going to see how their mom portrayed them on social media. And it just I don't know. I don't really love it. Do you know what I'm kind of excited to see? Hmm. Like these vlogger families, like the kids growing up. I know. When it's like, it when it's a wholesome family and I really feel like, I don't know, I guess that's so subjective. But I do get excited too because like we're going to be around to like, they're probably going to keep be filming still. Yeah, eventually. And then when they turn 18, who knows what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Come out and yeah. Spill. Have you seen the stuff about John and Kate plus eight? Like the son? No. Do you remember their one son who... I don't know if he was ever diagnosed with anything, but I think they made it apparent on the show he had like kind of learning disabilities. Colin. It was Colin. I think I may have seen this video. He had glasses. Where he, like, like, where he, like he doesn't talk to his one. siblings or something. Yeah. he. Well, I don't know if it's his he probably maybe doesn't talk to the siblings that live with his mom because he doesn't speak to his mom at all anymore from okay. what i gather because she like locked him in the basement for like a lot of his life and like would isolate him like for days on end and like basically make him feel like he was worse than all the other kids Jeez. and had something wrong with him oh yeah he has come out and like made many statements and allegations against her about her, her like restraining him basically like tying him up and again, Jeez. separating and isolating him from his siblings, making him feel like he was different, something was wrong with him. She sent him away to a camp at one point, like a behavioral Jeez. camp. And the dad, I think, I want to say, I could be making this up, but like the dad got a letter from him being like, can you get me out of here? Like mom sent me to this place and like, yeah. Or like his dad had to intervene to get him released. It was just Jeez. insane. She was doing way too much. and It was almost like she was projecting this issue onto him like she was saying that he had anger issues and he had behavioral problems and like it turned out that it was nothing of the sort maybe he was i don't know like maybe a little bit on the spectrum or something but like she was making him feel like he was this terrible child that like couldn't be around the siblings i know like in looking back on it poor little baby like literally it's like well they probably did have behavioral issues because there's a camera shoved in his face and he has his like entire seven childhood. siblings. Like yeah, and the parents are going through an ugly public active oh divorce yeah, separation. So like the trauma of your parents getting separated and divorced, having a camera shoved in your face, constantly being told how to act, what to do, and not just like being a child, right? Which is, it's just insane. I know. So I'm sorry. I can't stop yawning. I'm so sorry. Fine. Um. But yeah, I just, a funny moment of John and Kate plus eight is that clip where she's like, can you stop breathing so loud, honey? Have you seen that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did that for the med spa the other day. And it's so, it's just like, it never gets old. Like just classic Kate Gosselin. Like John right. is just sitting there existing and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> stop it. <laughs> can you stop breathing so loud? Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. Good old Imagine. TLC. That was, like, my favorite channel to watch when I was young. I was always watching, like, someone giving birth or, like, some family. Someone giving birth. <laughs> yes. Trauma someone life giving in the birth. ER. Someone getting divorced. Mm-hmm. I, I, someone God. getting married. All someone. The, all, the, all the Bridezilla shows. All uh, that. Amazing. So good. Okay, wait. I wanted to, before we go, I have to remember yeah. to bring this up. I found at Publix, Brittany... They have all their holiday ice creams out. You did tell me about okay. that. Which one did you get? I got, I'd never seen this flavor before. Marshmallow candy cane cookie, chocolate cookie or something. Do you like mint? You don't like mint, do you? I don't. You had me until the candy cane. Okay. I'm not going to lie to you. Well, I me- like candy canes. Don't get me wrong. I like, I like minty flavored things. I like candy canes during Christmas. 
you yeah. know, big fan of that. But I am not like a mint in my food person. Right. I feel like I remember you telling me this. It's yeah. okay. I won't fault you for it. Thank but you. But it is marshmallow candy cane cooking bl- cookie blast. Marshmallow flavored ice cream with bits of candy cane and chocolate cookie swirl. Vanilla That's chocolate literally. Swirl cookie corn, <laughs> <laughs> I've got it. Chocolate vanilla cookie corn. Please. That's so funny. No, but that that is very you. Like that is very like mm-hmm. your like the little crunch of the candy cane. Ooh. The little chocolate. The marshmallow moment. edition. The, the marshmallow ice cream, though, that sounds fire. If mm-hmm. the if the candy canes weren't in it, I'd be like, Ooh. sign me up, babe. Like, like if it was just like a cookies and cream. Yes, like a s'mores action almost, yeah. or like a gingerbread. Yum. If they did little gingerbread pieces mm-hmm. or something. That sounds fire. I think they had something gingerbread. Um, but yeah, they have all their holiday. Holiday flavors, Ugh. if anyone cares. I even went to Publix today. I should have looked. Oh, yeah. I was. I, know. I was honestly shocked, but like, I love it. I'm here for it. Christmas today, like Christmas right now. It is Christmas time. Merry Christmas, everyone. And to all a good night. <laughs> so good. Like I, dude, my body hurts. From what? Yesterday, golfing. Oh, 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 oh. my body hurts, and then on top of that. My, I know this is a complete 180, but my mom came over to the house because you've seen my front yard, the yeah. bushes in my front yard. They, the bushes are just like, they're, all of them are dead. It just looks nasty. Like it just doesn't look put together. It just looks wild. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I can't look at this anymore. Like I'm going to, you know, lose my mind. Like it just looks unkept and I don't like it. Yeah. Um, and my mom has one of those like electric trimmers and she was Ooh. like, Brittany, I'll come over after work. And she was like, well, we'll get started on it. I said, okay. So for about two hours, yeah, about two hours we spent on one side of the yard completely trimming up. Like we trim the bushes like down to like nubs brown down to nubs like <laughs> i didn't realize that there were only three bushes oh my gosh there's only three yeah that's how big and overgrown oh they gosh. were and there was like little little vines of poison ivy so i had to be Ooh. careful with that i had gloves on thank god at one point i like picked up a vine and i went like that and it like rubbed all down my arm and I was like, oh, my my mom's like, watch out for your arm. And I went, oh, my God, mom, and hit my arm. She goes, go inside and wash your arm. So I, like, sp- I, like ran inside and grabbed, like, like our dial dish soap. I was, like, yeah. scrubbing my arm. And thankfully, I'm thankfully I'm good. But I was Jeez. just like, yeah, I know. It was intense. And we're having our lawn guy come tomorrow to pick up the debris because I'm not dealing with it. Mm-mm. I put as much as I could in the trash can. And then I was like, Pedro, where are you at? seriously come help no eight thirty tomorrow morning he's coming and picking it up amazing i know dude i was geeking at that video of you and your dad potting those plants like i oh think your God. dad is one of my top 10 favorite people i love <laughs> like he's just so freaking naturally funny that like it's just for like no my reason. dad like my dad is so funny for no reason like your dad is the same way like right everything he does just like i should have thought of that like he's so funny he's like i i can't handle him like he <laughs> He's so he's so stupid. I love him today. Yes, like yes. he, you know, because I was potting the mums and I was getting frustrated because I was like, I was like, this dude told me that I only needed one bag of soil and I'd be fine. And then me being an idiot, when I took the dead plants out, there was so much like good soil. But in my mind, I was like, it's bad soil. I need to dump it. <laughs> So I dumped all of the soil into the trash can. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, we're starting from scratch, everyone. And like one bag filled up like halfway of the big freaking potters. So I called my dad and I was like, because at first I was like, oh, I did buy this like gigantic bag of mulch. I was like, Mm -hmm. maybe I can like put mulch on top of it and it'll be fine. So then when I called him, he was like, Brittany, you know what? He was just like, I have a bag and a half of potting soil at my, he was like, at my house, like, I'm just going to come over. He was like, I'm just going to do it. I'm like, okay. Yeah. I'm like, all right, please. I just like, I can't handle this anymore. But now the mums are great and I'm a little plant mom. I water them and I love them. Every day or what? Every couple of days. Cute. Because the mulch like retains moisture. Oh. 
So it, you don't have to, if you add mulch to your plants and you don't have to water them as often. Oh, cute. Little okay. fun fact. A little mm-hmm. tidbit. Little tidbit fun fact. Yeah, that was a really good video. I liked it. Thanks. I also didn't have being publicly humbled by a brand on my 2024. I saw that vitamin water. I was like, okay, am I crazy for being a little like about it? No, it's so clever. Like I know, but I was, I was like, dad gone. But and then of course somebody brought it. Somebody made a comment and brought up like, I can just picture at the marketing meeting them broadcasting my video like on the live screen, and I was like like, projecting it, and everyone's like has their chairs turned watching. Yeah. And like some some like man who should have retired like twenty years ago, is like looking at it, being like, "Why? Like, what is what is this girl? Like, why is she wearing like the yawning. red morph suit? <laughs> yeah, like why is she wearing the red morph suit underneath the towel with the hat on?" And I'm just like, seven million views. All publicity is good publicity. That's, That's kind of insane because I know you've gotten thousands of followers from it. I did. Yeah. But now I feel like I'm at my peak and like, it's like, not, you know what I, you know what I mean? Oh, it's no. like, I've hit my, I've hit my peak. No, I just like, did not have that on my bingo card, my so 2024 crazy. bingo card. So cool. And They'll probably invite you on a brand trip or something now. Dude, a nerd's, that'd be fun. Heck yeah. Or a vitamin water brand trip. Let's go to the beach. Let's stay Let's hydrated go. in Let's a bit. Let's go to beach each. Mm. Yes. I'm trying to go. I'm trying to go. I want to go on a brand trip so bad. Oh, dude. If you go, I'm going. If I go, you're going. Dump. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm so serious. I want to go so bad. Like, there's this anywhere. girl in, Yeah, anywhere. I don't even care at this point. I'm mutuals with this girl on TikTok, and she is just like, you know, the, the, the TikTok sound club. Another club. Another no sleep. Club. Yes. No sleep. Whatever. Bus like, club. Like, yes. Another club. Like that's that's literally what goes through my brain when I'm on her TikTok account mm-hmm. because it's like she goes, yeah, I'm home for like two days and then I'm on a plane going to Hawaii for a week and then I'm and then from Hawaii I'm flying straight to this this European country to visit my friend and then I'm and then I'm flying here and I'm like. Who is she? I love her. Her name is Abby. And I met her at an influencer event like maybe a year or two ago. Mm-hmm. And it was like it was these two girls, Abby. Do you know the one Wabby Rose? Yeah. Yeah, it was her and then another girl, Abby. Okay. They're friends. Okay. And they like I saw Wabby first. Mm-hmm. Well, Abby obviously, but her username is Wabby. And I saw her, and I was immediately like, "Oh my god!" Like I had like a like a not, not necessarily a fangirl moment, but I was like a "Oh my god!" Like I've seen her videos. I think she's so funny. Yeah. So then we like made eye contact, and like we ended up approaching each other. And I was like, "I love like I love you pretty much. Like you you are so funny." She was like, "Oh my god!" Like I've been following you for a long time. And blah, blah blah. I was like, "Me? What?" And so we had like a cute like, and so we ended up following each other back, kind of vibe. But yeah, like the other Abby, it's like Abby, like, like buffet or like, I I think that's her last name. I can't remember how to pronounce, I don't know how to pronounce it, but she's like, you know, she's living her best life. She has like this penthouse apartment in New York city and Mm. she's at like that aloe gym doing, you know, aloe gym doing Pilates and like getting Russian (sighs) manicures and like, you know, she's like, oh, I'm going to Hawaii with, um, what's that? What's that um, makeup brand that starts with a K? Um, it's like K. Kosis. Kosis. Yeah, like oh, I'm going to Hawaii with Kosis, or like I. She went on the Tarte brand trip, and she oh. like, I know, and she like went to New York Fashion Week. I'm pretty sure she went to like the the what's the one? Is it Paris Fashion Week? Like oh. she went to that. She went to that one. Like she. And and she got invited to the premiere of the new the Wicked movie oh in God. Los Angeles. Like she is just like she is living her best life, mm. and I'm honestly kind of jealous. I'm kind of jealous of her. I'm not gonna lie to you. 100. percent I'm like just, she. Yeah. How is does it just, feel to have someone living your dreams? I'm literally living vicariously through her. I was like, well, I'm at the grocery store, merching the merching the shelves and lifting heavy boxes. I'm like, I'm like vic- living vicariously through her because I want to go and experience like a beauty brand trip oh, once. Just like 
the the rooms i don't know i feel like it's all about the rooms. yes like the way that they just like their brand like throws up in the room like embroidered towels and products all over the bed yes. and you open the closet and then there's bags full of the products and a whole wardrobe and like the bathroom has like stuff on the mirror like i yes, love like the per- details like the personalized t- detail the mm. personalized details i just like my dream if like redken did oh, something dude that would be that would be a dream of mine to go on like a Redken brand trip. I would love that with my entire heart and soul. Seriously, that would be so fun. I know. Mm, and I'm thinking like, what about like a Christmas brand trip to like the Alps? <gasps> oh <laughs> my gosh. Shut up. That'd be so fun. Shut up. That'd be so fun. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, now that we've like spoken it into existence, surely it's going to happen now. I hope so. That would be fun. <laughs> I'm just like, now I'm like, oh my <laughs> I mean, like, this is like so screwed up that no one's invited us. I know. Like, we're fun. I'm pretty fun. When my social battery's not dead, I'm a lot of fun. We're like, we're a good time. I, I may need to like take a nap for a little bit, but other than that, like, I'm a good fun time. Oh, yeah. I love it. Like, I would love a brand trip as well because there's like a schedule. Like, yes. this is what we're doing. Like, we're having breakfast here. We're, like, I'm there. Every, like, you just tell me where to be. I'm showing up in my best and outfit. The same thing with like the, the, um, dress, the dress code, like the dress attire. Mm-hmm. Like, like, do these vibes, like beachy vibes or like yes. comfy vibes, like whatever. I'm like, oh my God, I could put outfits together. Oh my God. Redkin, if you're listening. Seriously, um, we, we're, like, definitely closer than, like, everyone else in the world. Because I, I do have that, that brand partnership with them. So, so I'm, ne- I'm we have need like to... We have, like, one inch <laughs> more. I'm going to need you. Do you know you have 30 minutes? Yes. Like, you need to, <laughs> you need to call them up yesterday and I'm... be like, hey. Oh, that would be so crazy. Keep me keep me in a plus do one Do they do mind. brand trips? Have you ever seen I them? have never seen it before. I've only seen, like, brand partnerships. The only, like, the only trips that I've ever seen are, like, Tarte, the Fashion Weeks, mm-hmm. Kosas, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah. And, like, Briogeo or something like that. She also modeled for Briogeo. Oh. There's, like, there's, like, a big, like, billboard of her in new york city Times square oh yeah Times square naturally of course because she's her hair is of course perfect of course it's perfect of course it's perfect crazy i've got to go I, look this lady up. i love her so much send me one of her videos i will send you her tiktok account she okay. recently hit a million and i'm so <gasps> proud of her i, I know that. that's really I'm so proud of her but i also hate her no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> But do I do I love her? Do I hate her? Or do I want to be her? Yeah, Ooh. no, I'm just kidding. No, I'm about to block her. But no, literally- <laughs> <laughs> send me her TikTok account so I can block her. <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh my you. gosh, that's so funny. Um, I love that. Well, speaking of accounts you should not block, our Instagram. Oh wow! One hour and eight minutes in. You beat me to it. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I was I was hyper fi- I was hyper fixated on getting that it's time. Oh, they, like, that was so you know, good though. I had to get that because I'm pretty sure last we year did. November first we recorded. <laughs> we did. You're right. <laughs> Cute. Oh I gosh. love that. Yeah. So um, good. Well, yeah, yeah. Follow our Instagram, guys. And I'm about to go because I need to go do my nails. This is what I'm rocking with. If anyone noticed, I, I do actually only have two nails on um i have acrylics like i don't have acrylics i lied i do like the little tip plus the dip powder so i do them at Mm. home so they like kind of pop off and it's just time but it's gonna take me like a solid hour and a half but i'm gonna watch a movie and it's just gonna be like a little girl time little little me time i love that cozy cozy i love that yeah that's i I look forward to doing my nails all the time it's just like the best time of the week i love that um okay well maybe when we come on here next we both will have decorated for christmas and sophia will watch the love is blind oh my god reunion seriously okay literally i had notes ready to discuss and prepare as soon as we answer the phone she goes oh by the way i haven't watched the love is blind (laughs) reunion i was like okay great so we're gonna have to improvise the entire episode love it maybe we shouldn't (laughs) record after all 
<laughs> no, it's fine. I know it, it's it, fine. We we killed it, but I definitely dropped the ball on that. Like I, that's my fault. Instead of watching a movie, watch the reunion. Yeah, actually, maybe that's what I should do. Okay. Yeah, you should do Solidified, it. Solidified, set in stone. Um, maybe Done. we'll have to do like an emergency episode on Monday. Recap I'm down. or something. I'm down before I lose before I lose the momentum. Okay, that's yeah. Let's get together on an emergency episode. Done. And then we can just have it be its own thing, and then people who don't watch Love Is Blind like they don't have to listen to it. Love it. Okay, sounds good. Love it. Bye. Okay, love you guys. Bye.